So uh, the, the, perp the kind of the subject of my talk is uh, is how to use LLM and uh, in uh, observability. And one of the things I'm going to tell you is that everything you're gonna, you've heard so far and everything you've heard, you're going to hear uh, the rest of the day about observability is all going to change in the next uh, few months. Uh, and I'm going to show you how. So uh, my name is Asaf. Uh, I am uh, one of the co-founders and the CTO of uh, Logs.io. Uh, we're an observability company uh, doing observability with open source. And uh, happy to be here. We're also presenting at KubeCon, uh, booth H24. So uh, obviously, we've all heard about uh, uh, kind of like the LLM, ChatGPT, and all the uh, what's happening right now in the industry. So for one thing I started is figuring out like, OK, how do we, let's ask ChatGPT what is the best way to integrate LLM inside of observability. And it's the response that he gets. So obviously, uh, kind of like use whatever, uh, uh, whatever ChatGPT thinks it is. And uh, you can read here a bunch of the examples that uh, were thought about by this. I was actually surprised uh, of the level of uh, intimate information that ChatGPT has with the whole observability domain. So obviously d doing some analysis about log analytics, pattern recognition, anomaly detection, uh, both for metrics, logs, and traces, uh, natural language uh, querying and reporting, which is also becoming very difficult and uh, definitely a very good use of, uh, of ChatGPT and other LLMs uh, to do it. Uh, alert management and triage, the ability to communicate directly with people around alerting, around what's going on. Um, this was uh, kind of like other topics that ChatGPT came up with how to use LLM inside of observability. Root cause analysis, there's so much data in observability, the ability to understand all this data in a very, very quick way, in a very quick format uh, is another thing. Uh, predicting of analytics, uh, knowledge-based enrichment, uh, and other different aspects that we can use LLM. And this is all came from actually using uh, ChatGPT about how to use LLM within observability. You can run this query yourself and, uh, and realize. But we think there's other things to do it, and I think one of the um, one of the limitations of LLM is the lack of creativity. And uh, these answers are great, but they're not as creative as we can find. So this is our take about how to use it and uh, uh, how to use LLM. So there's two main aspects of how we think of using it. One of them is simplifying user experience. We all know open source is great, but uh, trying to use it is a nightmare. Uh, anyone here running Lucene queries? Anyone ever tried to build a visualization in Grafana? It's a lot of fun. It takes a lot of time. After you've done it five times, it's enough. Uh, not to mention creating alerts in Grafana or OpenSearch. Uh, this is enough to do once. You don't have to do it five times to realize that this is too much work. Uh, we actually use it internally. Our support team and our customer success team today already use ChatGPT. It does an amazing job about creating visualization gets you all the information. Same thing about creating alerts. Uh, so this is a, a very good way of, of kind of like using it. So one way is let's make these observability solutions, which are hard to use, simple and more accessible for uh, human consumption. Uh, the second thing is uh, how do we create uh, error prone? Like how do I get my data out of my Kubernetes cluster? Uh, again, any of you have tried to uh, write, change, modify Helm charts, uh, install the different things inside the cluster. Uh, it's, a, it's another thing which ChatGPT does a very, very good job at. You give it what the configuration is. You ask it to add uh, uh, more configuration. It does it in a very good way. Uh, let's remove the mundane uh, error-prone tasks from, uh, from a human. But the real future is not about that. The real future is like, I don't want to look at graphs. I don't want to look at the graph, figure out that the line, I have an anomaly. I don't need to look at the uh, legend of the graph, try to figure out what is the name of the service, what is the name of the pod, what is the name of the node, which cluster, which region. I don't need to read all these lines and numbers. And we all know how many graphs, if you're running a Kubernetes cluster, if you're running a complex environment, how many graphs you need to look at in order to understand the data. What I actually want to do. I want to chat with my data. I want to be able to ask questions. I want something else to visually look at uh, all the graphs and all the information that I have and, uh, and 
make the best out of it because I need to know if there is an anomaly and I want the, the LLM to be able to say, hey, you have an anomaly on this pod that happens between this time and that time. It happened post the deployment because we're tracking all the information that exists. So the amount of data is, uh, is amazing and the ability of, of human being to be able to uh, look at it is, uh, is very limited. Uh, this is, the, I think, the six or seven year in a row that we're running an observability survey. Every year, uh, the MTTR, the mean time to resolution, increases. So despite the fact that the observability solutions are becoming better and better, the increased level of complexity uh, is overrunning the, the progress of observability. Uh, and we do think that this is, uh, is going to change the ability to, for me to interact with my data, ask very simple questions like post-deployment, tell me if the state of the system is the same uh, or do I have a degradation in the system. Tell me what's anomalous in all of these hundreds of graphs that I see in my system. Uh, this is what we think the future is going to be like. Uh, and our vision is that in the next few months, uh, not even a year, uh, the way observability solutions are going to look like are going to be completely different. Uh, it's going to be a lot of uh, chat-based uh, communication and less graphs uh, to obtain it. So if you do want to see the future, uh, we already have it working. Uh, come check us out at booth uh, 24. Uh, so we're Logs.io. We'd be happy to demo it to you and uh, get some insight. And obviously, appreciate the feedback. Thank you very much.